guys so today i have a huge goodwill haul and when i say huge i mean literally huge um you can do the math yourself but it was basically 120 at one store um the day before it was 39 at the same store and then 53 at another so around like 200 dollars um yeah so i'm gonna show you what i got i went like i've been looking for new clothes for the kids so all of my kids have too many clothes truth be told but other clothes are just like worn over the years or made her place so i'm going to show you what i got um one of like the bigger this was expensive but i found this and it's like a i think it's like a diy like jewelry thing but it has like, and i need to like wipe it up but it has like these little hooks and they go all the way down and then the back of it has like this string I just thought it was really cute. It I paid $3.99. Um, and I found this at one out of my town. So I paid $3.99 for that. And I like I love that. I think it's so freaking cute. Um, and it's gonna go in from them, which it kind of also like I don't know, hopefully it'll like fit the theme. I got this, which look how cute that is, and it lights up too. Yeah, so it's brand new with tags from TJ Maxx. And somebody bought it from TJ Maxx at $24.99. And I bought it from Goodwill at $3.99. So I love it so much. It is super cute. I'm going to put it up for Valentine's Day next year. Even though it's March. And I'm also going to try to go kind of quick. Because I do want to like do this all in one take. But it might have to be two. I got these Nike shoes. These are a seven youth. So Drew is currently in like a four, but he can fit like his Air Maxes or six or his um, Air Forces or six and a half youth. So anyway, um, they were $10, literally like super new. So I put them up, start acting smart when you get tax money, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I got these little boots for Leo. They're Carter's and they're just like little boots. I thought they would be really good for spring, rain weather. This is kind of funny. I know this is at Dollar Tree for $1.25, but I, you know, I don't know if Dollar Tree has it like right now, but I found it at Google for $1.99, so I got it. It just says Unicorn Fun, and it's like a little piggy bank. Um, Prim's bedroom theme is unicorns and like rainbow, and Drew's is going to be football. So they don't know that they're getting a whole new room makeover. Um... Yeah, so I'm very excited. I ordered all their stuff today. But yeah, so I got this cute little piggy bank for Sister Girl. She has one already from Dollar Tree, like kind of similar. And then these plates are all the same. Drew and Dakota love Colt, so I got it. And then this is really cool. So it's a storage container. But as you can see, like the sides open. And I'm sure you see the vision. It ends up being a play mat. So I got that. Two. It was like two bucks. Speaking of play mats, I found these. It's like the little like alphabet um, foam mat I paid four ninety nine. Whoa, good job! Um, it's like the alphabet like foam rug. I paid four ninety nine. I was gonna put it in my room, but that wouldn't make sense because the only space big enough for this is by my side of the bed. So. Um, but Leo has like a whole like play area and I have like a mat like laid down something like I don't know how else to explain it it's kind of similar to that but not really but my cats scratch it up so bad they scratch any mats up like that so I can flip it over and use the other side um, which I probably will do but I also have my foam mat thing to replace it so I got whoa, I got a few blankets I'm gonna like try to show them but it's not really gonna come through um, this one is just Lightning McQueen. Our basement has been leaking and we didn't know until the night that Ooh. it flooded when we had a really bad, bad storm and our basement got a good chunk of water in it. So everything down there is f ruined and I am not the best upkeeper at laundry and my basement floor was covered in, I don't want to say covered in, that sounds gross. It had a lot of clothes and all of our extra blankets. Oh. The dressing room is in football, so I didn't want to 
buy them each like brand new for the dollar bed sets because I'm okay. So like I was saying, Drew's room is going to be a football, but I did want to spend fifty dollars on brand new bed sets and everything. Um, so I just wasn't really gonna focus on it. But I found this at a Goodwill out of town today. Um, I did buy him brown sheets. But I found this at a good about time today for $7.99. It's a huge comforter. I'm not going to pull it all up. But look. Mm -hmm. And it's got all the balls. Might not be only football. But it's balls. So that worked out so great. And then I have a couple other blankets. But let's get through some of the smaller stuff. Before I run out of storage. And then I get mad. Like I said, I'm gonna go through these kind of quickly. This bag is stuff that I found out of town. This was, um, it's like, it's actually out of state, but it's kind of like right over state one. It's kind of funny. But anyway, um, this is just a little Carhartt um, tank. I'm pretty sure it's brand new. That's been my goal with Goodwill is I need to find stuff that is not looking like it's been worn because that's a big chunk of my kids' clothes. And I don't think there's an issue with that. Like I'm going to give these clothes to other people to use. I don't, I don't think there's a problem. I buy these clothes to use. So then, you know, you add my kids used to it. It's just a lot. So this is not showing up, but it's actually like a corally color. It's really pretty. Uh, that was for Drew, obviously. And so is this. I'm kind of on the fence if I want to keep this. I feel like I kind of impulsively bought this. I got sucked into the fact that the decal is, like, really good quality. Like, not even, like, it's cracked, like, a little bit. Um, but I kind of got suckered into that, and I just don't know that it's going to be used very well. So I might just give it away to who I'm giving the other clothes to, but we'll see. These are for Prim. Just a little to go this way just some little jean shorts this she's gonna love i think this is like a sheen item but oh it is so cute uh, this was like 249 so like my goodwill prices stuff like it's all kind of similar but like it's like priced differently like if you know what it is you know like i know the prices by heart of what things are there but this one was like everything on the rack was the same price it was so cool so i absolutely love that again literally like brand new and then i also found this one i don't know what like this is athleta girl so uh but yeah it's just like this like really soft material hoodie i have paint on my cowl or my blanket. Drew wanted these, but I need to hide them again because if Leo sees them, he's gonna want them. I think I've been collecting that. So that's what it is. Then I also got Leo a bucket of Play-Doh toys, but he currently has those. Okay, and then I found this bag of puzzles. It was three to nine. It's kind of like crazy because it says like whoever this is like completed this puzzle at twenty months or got it at twenty months. Um, but yeah, Leo loves puzzles, like loves them, and I'm all for like building the mind. So there's two puzzles. Hopefully, all the pieces are there. I guess we'll find out the hard way later. Got this iPad case. I don't know if this is. This is an iPad 9.7. Good night, Lucy. My hopefully. Uh, yeah. So I think this might fit. But it's two nine nine, and it has like this, which is vital because Leo keeps stealing my iPad. But this feels feels like my iPad. So I don't know. We're going to see. Also, I hate that I have to go so quick. I'm a talker, but we're going to keep going. I found this pack of Huggies Little Swimmers. This is size four uh, for 24 to 34 pounds. Leo's 29 pounds, but he's not big. He's not chunky. So hopefully they'll fit. It's like they're supposed to be 11. I don't know how many's in there, but they were $1.99 and it feels pretty full. So for $2, Yes. Oh, we got Leo this yesterday when we went. It was, it's like one of those little things. He doesn't even know he has it. Um, anytime I go to Goodwill, I pick up a toy for each of the kids. Like a small thing. Even if it's just a small thing. Throwback. I don't know, like, the year. I mean, it's not even on here. But, oh. Seriously? 
Oh my god, a little cute little plate for a dollar. I do this all the time where like I'll buy like random dishes just to like have the dishes and then like every six months I go through and I throw everything out and then only buy a matching set and then refuse to buy anything else for another six months and then just repeat it repeatedly. So back on that little kick there. Then oh actually uh the other stuff like the day that I got this stuff there was there's some good stuff if I have the bag. So I got this little shirt, which goes with these little shorts. I can't really show you. Cute. That is an outfit for Leo. And then also just these little Spider-Man jammies. Um, Drew has, or Leo has a severe lack of pajamas. I'm not sure if it's truly a severe lack or if they just end up in everybody else's laundry, but had to get to that replacing. And then, oh, another one. There's so many. Anytime I go to Goodwill, I pray to the gods that I will find a big stack of towels. One time when I was there, this lady walked off with like those big, thick, like fancy hotel towels, cart full. They were $2 a piece. Pissed. Because I missed it. Um, towels at my Goodwill are $2 though. But so I just, anytime I go, I'm like, please let me have the towel drop cloth. I know everybody else feels that way. Is it just me? I don't know. Two towels. I don't know the brand. I don't really care. They're the big one. That's what it says. Felt. Um, I don't really, the, towels get lost and ruined and I, I don't even know how that happens. So I think I'm going to do this for permit for Easter. I'm still deciding, but I found this at um, Goodwill and I thought it was cute. It's just like a little yellow dress. I'm really feeling it though. I wanted them to match, but I also bought Leo a pink tee, Ralph Lauren, a pink Ralph Lauren tee, which Drew wore for Easter, the same shirt in his size when Leo was born. It's going to be so cute. Um, So... He would, she would be yellow, Leo would be pink, and then I guess Drew, I don't know. <coughs> Drew's gonna need to be blue. Oh, this was a really good find. I should be telling you guys prices. This was a two-piece set at Goodwill. Um, hello? Warm? Wear. You know what I mean? Love it. It is so freaking cute, dude. It's adorable. It was $4.99. So, I got that. I had a bunch of these like one piece like footless pajamas <clears throat> so I got a shark uh, an alligator dinosaur alligator what is that it's definitely a dinosaur and I think this one's like a monster it's a dinosaur too um, so I got all those and they were two dollars a piece and they're all footless which are phenomenal on like nights where like it's warm but it's not or where it's cool or where it's warm but it's not hot okay shut up Tori anyway I got those I got him these little joggers those are cute I got some pillowcases if you know me you know that I love elephants so I found that one and then I, I like I Everybody asks me sometimes, like, where do you get your pillowcases? Literally, Goodwill. Because you can find sets. So, like, I found this set. It came unfolded. But it's a set of two. And so what I do is I take two sets of two and I make our bed. Because we each have two pillows. So. There's that. And then I got Leo this blanket. This was only $3.99. And it's, like, a toddler, like regular toddler size blanket it's rockets but it has like this inner like soft fleece lining which i've never seen on like walmart toddler blankets for their bed sets so i thought that was so cute pretend i didn't just do that i did but pretend that i didn't this this little bag this stuff is stuff that i found today okay so i got drew this Fila shirt. I had the jackpot on him at TJ Maxx. Like literally, I found so many New Balance and then like a really nice Skechers outfit. Not like blue light up, like it's really cool. I'm gonna show it another haul. And um, 
a uh, champion outfit as well. But anyway, I got this Fila shirt. I was like really picky with a good chunk of clothes except for pajamas for Leo because you couldn't be. Got him these shorts, cute little pocket shorts. These are the kinds of shorts my mom wears and I think it's so cute. I got Prim this outfit. So my rule for the older kids is if it's not something that's super versatile, even if it is, it has to have a match. I didn't follow that completely, but I tried. So like I matched up like this outfit for her. So it's like the, the tank and then the skirt. It's not gonna last. A plus for me trying. Black basketball shorts for Drew. This is just a red tank top. Also for Drew. This is Leo's 4th of July shirt this year. Whoop, whoop, old thing, cute. Little tank. These are just like some literal like Jurassic Park dinosaur pajama shorts. Another little tank for Leo. I think this is H&M. Nope, Cat and Jack. Little tank, little pocket is so cute. This is gonna be his Easter shirt. It's just literally a, like a pale, super light, rough worn pink polo. And I really, really wish that Drew still had his, but he ruined it, so. Uh, and then I also found this for Leo. Just brand new. Paid two bucks. And then these sweats, they say unstoppable. I'm sure he has a yellow shirt to match those. And then the last bag. Uh, straight on top here. Big old boy. This is another blanket. I... I literally like would go through life like I don't need any more blankets and I buy blankets but now it's like I probably do because all of ours are ruined in the basement. Um, he likes football. He likes the Colts and the Chiefs so I got him the Colts blanket because I found it. And then I got Prim this one because it was all cool. What did he do? Whoa don't smash it on the floor. Um, and then I got Prim this one because it matches her theme. Is it smashed on the floor? Okay, the rest is closed. I'm gonna run out of storage. I can feel it in my bones. Okay. Uh, so this is a Calvin Klein hoodie. I got it for myself. It was $4.99. Maybe it'll fit. I don't know. I don't really care. Like, this is what I rock. Little firefighter Mommy. shirt. Loves anything that, um, like fire trucks, ambulance, police officers. We got some wheatleys, so I got them that shirt. And I'm sure there's like some matches in here that can match or something. Uh, plenty of pajamas. Some of these are not like as new as I'd like, but um, I'm like a little bit less picky with Leo. Yeah, because he ruins them anyway. So this is just like shirt and shorts. And it is Wee Wee's and construction. This one is Christmas. So it's got like the little like cookie baking stuff. And then this one is camo shorts pajamas. And then if I find any more, we'll go there. Oh, this is this. So this says like made of polyester and it feels like it should be like pajamas, but also it looks like it could be a regular shirt. So I don't know, but it'll probably be pajamas, but anyway. And then I got him this Nike football shirt. This is so springy. His dad plays football, so that'll be cute to wear. So there, and then I got shorts. I these matched with something. I made an outfit, but those are just cute, right? Like, hello. And then my best friend is having a baby. And, and this is so cute. It's a jacket. Did I tell you guys I could not find anything for Prim? So I literally like found very minimal items. And I don't want you to think like that is so like favoritism. No, they literally did not have anything. 
through ev TJ Maxx, both Goodwills. Like I could not find stuff for her. But we are going out of town Saturday. And so I think, I think we'll find a good chunk. Um, and like this is really cute though. It's just like a jacket. The thing with her though is, is she actually needs them because she's going up a size. Drew kind of is like in some things, but like also kind of isn't. But Prim like literally like outgrew a full size of clothes almost. So we have to move her up. Um, this old cat and jack jacket for Mr. Leo. Lots of jackets today, which I'm totally fine with because it's spring. And I thought, yeah, I think most of the jackets I got are 4T. They are. Like, because that's what he, like, 4T fits better in jackets. And they should fit to the fall. Um, just a plain one. It's, like, really fuzzy on the inside. And then the same here. Just a plain black jacket. And then this is Drew's champion. There's the hoodie. And then... Um, these are Leo's. Little plain black pants. They can go with anything. This is another jacket for sisters. This is Columbia. Cute. Okay. So I found Nike, Columbia, Ralph Lauren, Carhartt, Goodwill Spurs. Um, then this is another set of pajamas this is like i think like the most warm set out of the ones that i'm showing you guys um but it's still really cute it's just kind of more warm this is for drew it just says um, that and like remember those black basketball shorts that i just showed you they go with this um, they don't actually, but I bought them that way. And then this is the last thing. So I managed to like squeeze a huge $200 haul in I don't know how long, and I'm very proud of that. Um, yeah, that's probably gonna be my biggest good haul in a long time. For a long time and ever. I think this is the biggest haul I've ever made. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to thumbs up so that I know you like this. Subscribe so you can see more of me. But also, um literally see more of me if you like videos like this that's me girl okay i love spending money i love sharing what i spend it on i love justifying my purchases like the pile of clothes on my floor and the pile of clothes sitting here on my couch um yeah i probably will not have another goodwill haul that big for until next tax season because we all know that's not true I do go to Goodwill. Every single time I go to Goodwill, I never walk out spending less than $60. I swear to God, it's like, it's gotta be. Walked out spending $39 yesterday. Taxes hit, went back, fucking spent $120. And then $53 at the other one. So, the other one was like a surprise though. Like, that was cool. That was in a different town. Jordan and I went over there to eat. It was like 25 minutes away. Um, Anyway, yes, I love Goodwill. I love watching Goodwill Halls. I like filming Goodwill Halls. I love Goodwill. So, if you guys like um, all of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, don't forget to do what he said because I'm leaving that in. And have a... Have a shitty day. What's all of these? Oh my God. Perfect day.